We all do it. We all put a mask on to hide the person we really are. To hide the emotions we are actually feeling. We don't want people to know we are weak. That is why we wear certain masks, so no one will see our true selves. I was born with a gift. A gift of reading people. One look and I can identify your mask right away. Uh, who wants to hear a joke? I do. I do! Okay, what is a frog's favorite soda? What? I don't know. What, what is it? Coca-Cola. <laughs> That right there, my friends, is the mask of the restless comedian. He uses his ability to make other people laugh to redirect the attention away from his own insecurities. Let's see who else we have. I have a really funny joke also. You guys want to hear it? Uh, sure, sure. Sure. Okay. What type of concert only costs 45 cents? What? 50 cent featuring Nickelback. Oh, so yeah, nice. Tickets cost more than that. That awful joke came from the girl who wears the mask of the obnoxious. The loudest people are usually the weakest. The obnoxious believe that the louder they speak, the less likely you'll be able to see their weaknesses. To be honest, both those jokes were awful. You guys are not funny, and I don't even know why I waste time hanging out with you guys. Harsh. That mask is the Debbie Downer. Her life is so colorless that she uses all of her energy to make the lives of others around her colorless as well. Well, you guys were super busy today and doing stuff. I just sat at home on my beanbag chair and I was watching movies. I don't have to do anything. My parents just bring me whatever I want. We're super rich. We're so rich. My dad invented the beanbag chair, so I can just sit there and do whatever I want. It's it's so awesome. I literally can snap my fingers and a butler can come and just give me whatever I want. Did I? My dad invented the beanbag chair. Like I don't know if I told you that, but it's it's so awesome. Whoa, that was a lot to take in. I can tell you now that most of that was false. The boastful mask is one that certain people wear in order to cover parts of their lives up that are failures and that they're ashamed of. Did you know that bean bags are actually really good for your back? Sometimes people get weak backs from, you know, like sitting in bad chairs that don't support their back, but bean bags are actually the way to go. Um, they, they're like couches, there's ones that are like armchairs, they come in circles, they come in cubes, they come in triangles, like, oh, just, if you, if you have a weak back, He's a beanbag. Those really cool beanbag facts were stated by the one and only Guru, also known as the know-it-alls. Gurus know a lot of trivia, but none that is very useful. They lack in self-confidence because the only self-confidence they have is random facts that will get them nowhere. So one time, I was sitting on a beanbag that had a hole in it, and all the little white stuff spilled out, and I was like, Dad, what are those called? And he said, beans. I was like, oh, yum, so I ate them. And they tasted so bad, they weren't like the beans that I normally eat at Mexican restaurants. Oh boy, the pretty dunce has struck again. Her whole life she has been praised on her looks only, not her brains. So she has trained herself to act dumb in front of others, so they focus more on how pretty she looks instead of the words actually coming out of her mouth. Oh, that's crazy. I had no idea. That's so funny. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, you okay? Why are you crying? What, My what dog ate those beans and he died. I'm, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Come here. I'm so, so sorry. Thank you for being so nice. No problem. You're really cool. Thanks. Hey, uh, you, want, you want to get out of here? Okay. That guy got that girl so quick? That's because he wears the gentleman mask. This mask is put on by men everywhere just to score with the girl. We'll let you cry on our shoulders and agree with you just so we can get some. We act like gentlemen because that's what we're told to act like. So, I was like, yeah, no, that was what I was Oh my, oh my god, god, I see him! Oh my gosh! Oh my Look, he's right away, get him! No, calm down, he's not moving. Just go outside and grab him. Okay. Go get him. Like, just go get him. Like, calm down. Why are you spying on us? I've been reading you guys all night. Reading us? Reading us how exactly? I have a gift for reading people's masks that they put on to please others. You're gonna tell us what our masks are? You're the Debbie Downer. You're the boastful. You're the restless comedian. You're the guru. And you're the obnoxious one. But there were two more. The pretty dunce and the gentleman. Where are they? Oh, they went that way! Who cares? Yeah, alright. So, since you've told us all our masks, what's your mask? I don't really know. Well, that's not fair. You've been like creepily watching us for like hours now and judging us. So what's yours? That's it! You wear the mask of the judicious one. You judge us off little pieces of information. That's exactly what you've been doing all night. Wow, I guess I have been judging you guys. Even though it's true. But it's not my position to tell you who you are, it's your job. And we all have masks, so gotta all find out who we are for ourselves. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. But now it's time to take off your mask and show the world who you really are. Yeah.